Hello, welcome to 8 bits. This is a re upload video of differences between Oracle and PostgreSQL. In query languages, both are similar, but the syntaxes are different from each other. Both are relational databases. Let's jump to Oracle SQL Developer Editor. Here I will write select star from tab. Here tab means the number of tables in the database. So right now you can see the first table is demo which I have created. Remaining are the database default tables. Let's jump to Postgre editor. Here I will paste the same query select star from tab and when I execute this query I will get a error called relation tab does not exist. Here tab means the Postgre will consider as a table name such as like as a demo. Here the query is different select star from pg tables where schema name is equal to public. So if you expand the tree view in the Postgre after that schema insert schema public and you can see there are tables. So here if you are entering public then it will show you all the tables which are exist in the Postgre database. The second difference is checking the table column description. In Oracle description demo DESC then table name demo then it will give all the column descriptions. The same thing if we execute in Postgre SQL we will get an error saying syntax error near description. In Postgre SQL if you select the table using select star from table name along with the data you will see the column descriptions. These are functionality or the option wise differences compared to Oracle and PostgreSQL. Now let's jump to create a table in both databases. So I have written a script here which having three columns integer where care to and after that date. So the table is created here the same query I am executing in PostgreSQL here I am getting error for where care to. Postgre does not support where care to data type instead of that character varying uh, is supported. Here the name is different but the data types are same. So if I execute the table is created. Now let us check about the data flexibility in both Oracle and PostgreSQL. So here I am inserting one record inside the employee table with the integer value 100 name Suresh and date. So here the record is inserted in Oracle same thing same query I am executing in Postgre here also it executed. So there is no difference. Now let us check removing the date and insert uh, inside single quotes. So Oracle not given any error and it executed successfully. Same query if we execute in PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL giving error for single quotes. So date is not acceptable for single quotes instead of that either we have to put null. So now this has to be handled from the programming side. Now let us see what exactly happens instead of integer if we are giving single quotes in Oracle. So Oracle is not giving any error it will execute but the same thing if we execute in PostgreSQL it will not accept it will give error. In Postgre single quote considered as string you have to clearly specify either an integer or else you have to enter null or else leave as blank. By this we can conclude that in Oracle single quote will consider for inserting the values but the same will not consider for PostgreSQL. So Postgre you have to handle from the coding side by passing null if there is no value. Now let us see how where query data types are working in Oracle and PostgreSQL. So here I am creating a query and I have removed a name instead of name I have added a single quote in Oracle and Postgre and another query I have written with the, the uh, instead of single quote I have added null. So that means here two queries one with single quote and another with null for the name. So in Oracle if you are passing either single quote or null both consider as null but in Postgre whatever you are passing that only it will consider. So if you are giving single quote then it will consider single quote. If you are giving null then it will consider as null for the e name. While looking the data you will not identify but let us give a condition. So select star from emp where e name is equal to single quote. Now you will get only one record. It is correct because we have inserted with the single quote. Now if I am giving the condition called is null then you will get another record that is also right. So here whatever you have inserted based on that it will work. But in Oracle it is not like that. So if you are giving is null then both records will come either the null value as well the single quote value as well. And if you are giving is equal to single quote then nothing is coming. So by this we can conclude that Oracle automatically consider if it is single quote or null it will insert null only to the database. But Postgre 
whatever you are passing that only it will insert to the database now by this we can understand if anything is there from your coding when you are migrating that time you have to handle in postgre and oracle in different ways so thank you for watching this video thanks for the suggestion for asking the re-upload of this video have a good day